Welcome to another Save My Butt tutorial. I'm Mike DeMichael. This tutorial is how to install Microsoft Security Essentials. Inside this video, you're going to learn how to install Microsoft Security Essentials. You need to first determine which version you need, because there are three. Then we'll download and install Microsoft Security Essentials. Why use Microsoft Security Essentials? First of all, it's lightweight. That means that if you're, you have an underpowered computer or an older computer, um, uh, it's not going to slow down your computer very much, if at all. And uh, it, it's, it's just much easier on your computer, and uh, you'll enjoy the, 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 the speed of your computer again. There's no registration. Some uh, programs require that you register the program before you can use it. Others require that you register it once a year or so uh, to maintain its free status. Uh, with Microsoft's uh, Security Essentials, that's not required. And it's really easy to use. The screen on it is real easy to understand. Um, you can click one button and do a scan right away. You can check the history to see what's been quarantined, etc. It's unbelievably easy to use. So step by step, what we're going to do is we're going to download Microsoft Security Essentials. We're either going to download the Windows XP version, the Windows Vista Windows 7 32-bit version, or the Windows Vista Windows 7 64-bit version. Then after we download it, we're going to install Microsoft Security Essentials. So, if you're ready, I am. Let's get started. The thing we have to do first is we have to download a copy of uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open Firefox. And then up in the address bar, I'm going to type microsoft.com slash security essentials. And the Microsoft Security Essentials screen comes up on your web browser. And right in the middle, right here, there's a big blue download button. But before we download anything, we have to determine what version of Windows we're using. To do that, we're going to go down in the lower left corner and click on Start. And then we're going to right click on Computer. And then choose Properties. In Windows XP, you'll right click on My Computer. It's usually an icon on the desktop. And then click Properties. In all cases of Windows, you should see a screen similar to this. At the top, it'll tell you what version of Windows you have. And then down in the middle area, it'll tell you system type. In this case, I have a 32-bit operating system on Windows 7. So now I know which version I need to download. We'll close this. Now we'll click Download. And because I have Windows 7 32-bit, I'll choose the second one. Firefox is going to want to save the file. Um, I've configured Firefox to make save my downloads to my desktop. It downloads. And when it's finished downloading, we can close the downloads box and we can close Firefox and we see that the installation program is sitting right here. And we're ready to install it. So we can just double click on it. And then we'll click Run. And Next. We'll click I Accept to accept the terms of the End User License Agreement. Uh, Security Essentials needs to be running on a valid copy of Windows. So it's going to check to see if it is a valid copy and we'll click validate mine is a valid copy and then we'll click install during the installation process there'll be a new icon on the desktop and 
Now, I uncheck this box because I don't want to do a full scan of my computer right now. I just want to uncheck that and click Finish. Microsoft Security Essentials is now going to update itself for the first time. And depending upon the speed of your computer and the internet connection that you have, this could take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. The download of the update is complete, and this is the user screen on uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. You'll also notice the icon in the lower right corner, a little green icon that indicates that it's up to date. And on Windows 7, you can also click this up arrow if you don't see the icon and click Customize and tell Windows 7 for Microsoft Security Essentials to show the icon and notifications. That's it. It's installed and it will protect you. The only time you'll see it is if there's a uh, uh, an infection that it catches and it'll run quietly in the background and update itself automatically a couple of times a day. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.